Today I'm launching the pre-sale for my next course, Dub Dub Grub. Now this course focuses on SwiftUI, MVVM, and we dabble in MapKit and CloudKit a bit. I'll get into the details of the app and how the course works in a minute, but I wanna explain the pre-sale first. So the pre-sale starts today. You can go to seanallen.teachable.com. Uh, you get 30% off the regular price for the pre-sale. Regular price will be $99, but during this pre-sale period, it'll be about $69. After the period, it'll go back up to regular price. Now, why is there a 30% discount during the pre-sale period and how the pre-sale works? So the course isn't 100% finished as far as like, you know, filmed, edited, and uploaded, right? I launch with an initial batch and then every day or two, I will drop a new batch over the next couple weeks until the course is finished. So the early adopters get this 30% discount and the feedback I get during these early stages helps shape the rest of the course, especially the optimization section where I go back, you know, cause I make mistakes. We fix some bugs, we optimize our code. We, we kind of just polish the app overall. And a lot of the early feedback I get from the early adopters during the pre-sale really helps shape that last section. So that is why you get the 30% discount. So if you do want to wait for the course to be fully complete, that's fine. Just wait a couple weeks. But if you do want to be one of the early adopters and dive in right away, again, seanallen.teachable.com, you get 30% off for the pre-sale. Okay, on to the official course overview. Welcome to my latest Swift UI course, Dub Dub Grub. In this overview video, I'm going to tell you what the app does, what we're going to be building, and kind of how the course will work. So first of all, we're going to be building one app. Uh, it's not a bunch of small projects, just one big app. And we're focusing on Swift UI, MVVM, MapKit, and CloudKit. So let's do a quick run through of the product, just so you know kind of the point. So the idea behind Dub Dub Grub is that you're at WWDC in San Jose, when it's in person again, of course. And you know, there's a whole bunch of iOS developers around there. And then there's a bunch of like restaurants and bars. So the idea for the app is that I've curated a, you know, a handful of bars and restaurants in the area and iOS developers can, you know, check in or out to let other people know where they're at. Like, hey, Sean's at Chipotle. Cool, let me go meet up with Sean and hang out with Sean at Chipotle. So that is the idea behind the app is to know where everyone's at so you can hang out with who you wanna hang out during WWDC. So that's the kind of product we're gonna build. And we're also gonna dive into the philosophy behind that product a little bit and talk about the value of curation and how you can build smaller niche apps that can still be successful. I walk you through my design process, how I went from like idea to drawings, to designs, to the actual app. And there will be small challenges all throughout the course to give you the option to push yourself uh, should you choose. Before we go any further, I wanna address the skill level for this app, right? This app is not meant for absolute beginners. I have a course called iOS Dev Launchpad, that is for absolute beginners. And if you're new to SwiftUI, I have a course called SwiftUI Fundamentals that really get you started. This course, Dub Dub Grub, is meant to be, you know, the next step after you complete SwiftUI Fundamentals. So I'm not gonna say it's required, like if you've already dabbled in SwiftUI and you understand the basics, you're, you're probably gonna be fine. But if you've never touched SwiftUI before, I'm still gonna explain what I do, but we're not really gonna dive into the fundamentals. Okay, so let's talk about kind of the details of this app. Like I said, it's gonna be built in SwiftUI with MVVM. So you're gonna get experience with that, kind of building a, a complete project around that. And like I said before, we're gonna dive into MapKit. As you can see, here's the map. We got custom annotations. We're gonna get the user's location. And our backend is built in CloudKit. So you're gonna get experience with that. You're gonna learn about you know, CloudKit, the containers, the record types, how to build your schema, all the data, all that good stuff. And then at the end of the project, we're going to you know, deploy our environment to production and push the app up to test flights. So you're gonna get experience there. A quick note though, on the MapKit and CloudKit stuff. Those are pretty big frameworks and they can do a lot. So I wanna be clear, like the point of this course is not for you to know every last detail of MapKit, every last detail of CloudKit. Like you can't really fit that in one project because they're so flexible in what they could do. If I were to do that, I would have had to build a bunch of different smaller projects to showcase all that, but I wanted to keep it to one you know, product to get experience with that as well. So treat this as kind of like an introduction to MapKit, an introduction to CloudKit for you to explore further. So if you've never touched either one of those frameworks, I think this will be a great start for you. And then after we build the main product, we're going to do, you know, the second 90%. If you've heard me say there's the first 90% of the project, then there's the second 90%. And that's all the stuff that kind of adds up, right? We're going to touch on, you know, accessibility, proper error handling and alerts. We're going to add, you know, haptics for all of our button presses. We're going to make sure it looks great on all screen sizes, right? All that kind of maintenance stuff that you have to do, like after the bulk of the product is built. So we're going to have a whole section doing that, uh, all that second 90% stuff. And now let's talk about updates during the course, because if you're taking this course right when it launches, you know WWDC and the announcement of iOS 15 and all the new toys we're gonna get uh, is only a few weeks away. So yes, I am going to update the course for iOS 15. 
most likely there'll be a section, you know, at the end that says like iOS 15 updates and we'll go back and update everything. But I do want to be clear that won't come until September or October because, you know, we'll be in iOS 15 beta from June until October. So I don't like to do videos around beta stuff because oftentimes things get added or removed or syntax changes. So I'm going to wait for iOS 15 to be officially launched and then I will make those iOS 15 update videos. However, if you're watching this after October of 2021, this is irrelevant. And then the last thing to mention is I do offer a Slack channel for students in all my courses. It's a place for anybody taking my courses to kind of get together, help each other out, answer questions, maybe network, uh, meet some developers from all around the world. All right, so that is the course overview. Uh, if you're watching this on the course page, you can scroll down a little bit. You'll see the whole curriculum if you wanna really dive into what you're gonna learn. Uh, but as with all my courses, you get to watch the first 10% or so for free. So, you know, check out the first few videos. If you like what you see, go ahead and enroll. But uh, hopefully we'll see you in future videos.